We've heard that the Mass itself, it not, not only brings Christ in, into the present moment, but also is an anticipation of future glory. And to see that more clearly, what we want to do is we want to kind of take a step back and to see the original Eucharist. The original Eucharist, we come from the word, that, that Greek word of thanksgiving. The original Eucharist is the eternal Son's Eucharist to the Father. Before time began, the Son had his Eucharist with the Father. The Father who generates the Son and the Son who turns around and in, for his part pours out thanksgiving back to the Father. So we say from all eternity this Eucharist has been going on. Now in time and through the Paschal Mystery we are being brought back and are invited into that relationship. And so when we, when we are participating at the Mass, we're already beginning to get a taste of that, of what it, what's it like to live in the Sonship of Jesus Christ. the gift of eternal life into our very being and that means that there is a pledge given to us by our Lord himself to be one with him forever in the kingdom of heaven. It means having the privilege of standing within the Trinity with the Son, the incarnate Son who has become one of us, who has never left the Father's side. And that was his whole work of redemption when we had gone away in sin, that the Son in his Eucharist has gone to the other side of our sin and spoken his Eucharist to the Father and bringing us all back with him. And, and in the Mass, we're, we're getting the, the foretaste of that glory of heaven. time we celebrate the Eucharist, we experience heaven on earth because He is present among us, He is with us. His eternal being is close to us, shares our life and therefore we already experience the eternal existence for which we are called. If we are truly in intimacy with Him, then already here on earth we experience the taste of heaven and that is what is most beautiful in the Eucharist.